Hi, this is Jeff Howells. I want to show you the Violet UML Editor. As it says here on the website, easy to use and com completely free. This was written by a guy called Kay Horstman, who's a pretty famous computer science person. And the interface, as we'll see, is very elegant. Um, just want to walk you through how easy it is to download and a couple of the features. Uh, the first time I used it, I struggled, I must say. So that's why I'm making this this video. If we if we just click on the site, we'll get um, download. We go to SourceForge. We go to the latest version, and I'm doing this from home so I don't have a super fast um, connection but you can see it timing off here on the bottom um, it's only three and a half mag so uh, you can't really beat that um, let's fire it up because it's an EXE that's downloaded this is really, um, you know, super simple to, to use. So here we've got an example of the elegant interface. So we've got the static view. We've talked about class diagrams, talked about use case diagrams. The, the look and feel of this product is pretty much the same. So we're, we're just going to go ahead and do use case diagrams. And uh, as you'll see when you, when you play around with it, it's really very similar for the other, for the other, um, let's do, we need to do a little bit of resizing here. Well, I guess we're not going to be able to do any resizing. That's the way to do it. Almost. Okay. Now we can see the elegant display. We've got a canvas. We've got some pop downs here. And we've got the basic working uh, unit. Uh, as far as the user interface is concerned over here. When you do select, you can then click on what do you want to select. And so we're going to click on Actor. And what that means is whenever I double click, it's going to create what I selected. So I'm just going to double click on a bunch of actors. Notice I do not drag and drop what's on the right hand side. So it's not a select the icon drag and drop model at all. Okay. Now if you right click on the on the shape you're going to see properties. The properties for um, actors are really pretty limited. I got to choose it then I right click on it and the only thing I can do with um, actors is simply give them a name. So we'll just call this this guy Joe. This guy, this person is Betty. This is. Act one, and that's all we really need. We're just going to blow these guys away. Okay, so we got some actors. We can move the shapes around, um, as you as you would think. Now we're going to put out some use cases, and so again we go select use case and then when we double click we'll have 
use cases. And once again, if you choose the shape, uh, for use cases, all you get is um, the uh, the name. I can only do something like this. Pretty pretty primitive. I can't change the size of the font and so on. Um, and this guy will call the thing and whoops and this one will call foobar everybody calls things foobar and this one we don't really want so we're gonna uh, okay we're gonna delete it okay now we're gonna do a connection so again we do select we do the interaction, and it's smart enough to know that <laughs> it's smart enough to know once I highlight it, right, that now we're dealing with a connection, and I can connect uh, these folks up. Okay. Now let's say I wanted to do something a little bit fa fancier with the connection. If I choose that shape, I then get a properties pane. So I can put an arrowhead, I can have a start label, I can have an end label, I can have a style, and I can, um, so I can change all, all these things around. If I want to do uh, a um, if I don't want to do any of those, I'll just leave it the way it is. Okay? Now, when I go back, whoops, hold on there. When I go back and I choose select, once I select the shape, when I move the shape, the connection will move with it. So if I have a compound shape, I can move the whole the whole thing, uh, which makes it nice. Couple more just basic ideas. Um, so you've got your nice little uh, use case diagram. That's great. You can do a couple of things to put it into um, into use. You can export it to either an image file or the clipboard. If you export it to the clipboard, what that allows you to do is paste um, into a Word document or, or wherever. The other thing that you can do is you can you can take a photograph, which is um, exporting it to the clipboard. Same same behavior and I can also just print it to a physical printer so that gives you a pretty good sense now one thing uh, at least I haven't figured out a way to do this you cannot get rid of this real estate even though it's duplicated even though you don't really need it because you can do the right click um, you have to keep this uh, in place what you can do though and this is kind of nice. You can you can zoom. Um, that doesn't change the diagram. It just changes the view. So there we are. Don't want to go any longer than 10 minutes. This is a quick introduction to Violet. You will be getting very familiar with working with this.